нормально не стоит. Well, good morning. It's uh, September 12th. Didn't get real cold last night, but beautiful morning. We were expecting some rain. It looks like it's not going to happen or it's going to hold off. So I think we're in for a good day. About to take off from the truck and base base camp here and head out into the mountains, look for some sheep today. Hopefully uh, we get in on them real soon. Don't have to wait a day or two for the, for the sheep to start showing themselves. I think Steve and I are pretty pumped, uh, ready to roll. So we'll see you guys on the trail here. We actually haven't even gone in a tenth as far as uh, normal, but we're already on the sheep. Uh, got one up here in a group of uh, four rams. Looks like he's worth a closer look for sure. I believe he's double broomed, which is actually uh, just kind of what I'm after. Love to get an old fighter. And uh, so I think we're gonna move in a ridge line closer another thousand yards in and uh, see if we can See if we can for sure him being double broomed. He looks almost or maybe full curl on one side and then the left side's real heavy, heavily broken back. So they're bedding down for, for late morning here. Probably give us a you know, hour or two at least uh, where we can move in this next ridge line, get a good look. And they're in some really approachable country for, for this area, so. I'd definitely like to take a shot at this guy. Seen uh, those four rams. We got another ram over by himself. Um, maybe a little past half curl. And then there's what 14 ewes up over on the hillsides, a little north of us here. And a uh, lot, lot, lot quicker than I expected to be on, especially rams. I, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of sheep in here, but uh, this is the quickest I've ever seen a ram closest and the lowest down. Got a bit of snow in here. They seem to be hanging a lot lower than uh, than they normally are. A lot of times they're running the ridge lines up here. So definitely move in for a closer look and hopefully we got a shooter. Gonna head up, see if we can get eyes on this guy again. Make sure he's uh, is what we think he is, and then we're going after him.
We're looking at a confirmed full curl. Both my partner and I agree that uh, he's full curl on the left side and he's broomed back pretty good on the right side. Um, right now I think we're just trying to gonna try and hatch a good game plan as to how to move in on them without being seen. And right now they're working their way up a little higher on the mountain. Still in a pretty good stockable spot to be honest though. Wind's wrong right now so we're not going after them anytime soon. But uh, check in later tonight. Maybe they will, uh, winds will be coming back down and they'll be in a good spot where I can get in on them. Definitely stoked to see two, uh, at least one, maybe two full curls right off the bat here like this. And he's halfway through the first day. We were, we were planning on honestly still being on, on four wheelers, probably just be getting to the spot where we were gonna start hiking if we hadn't seen these. Um, save a little fuel, save a lot of, save a lot of boot tread. So it'd be a be a dream of a pack out if we were to get them right right in here super stoked though and he's actually sitting right below a shelf we might even get a shot from just 20 yards above him it looks like 20 30 yards above him there with the bow so uh, we were just taking a, a better view of the chute that they uh, fed down into from this afternoon session. They seemed to have bedded down at the uh, foot of a couple of shelves just off to the uh, west of this spine here. Wind's coming a little bit out of the southwest, so we think we can make a stock up this uh, right side chute next to them and come over the top of the spine where uh, they bedded down for a minute during their afternoon feeding session and we could have a good archery stock on our hands here. So definitely in a, a nice hike up there. And uh, if we can just get up there before they, they get over to the, their feeding side uh, for this evening feeding session, we uh, should have a sheep tonight. So let's get up there.
sure there were two full girls that just left in that bunch. I think we got two small guys down here. I don't know if the one we were going after is left or if he left with that group. Left side was full on him and the right side was broomed, correct? So we made a, uh, made it just got done making a stock and uh, it was a picture perfect stock. We got 260 yards from the sheep and they were the wrong sheep. There ended up being uh, two other sheep that had been hanging down, out down in the drainage that our four went into, including our full curl. Uh, we moved over to the west to get an eye on that shoot and made our game plan to come up this side. The wind was with us. And it turned out that the sheep we saw in the chute must have been lower down or in a different spot in a different separate group from our other four. And uh, my best guess is that they winded us when we made the move in on the spot where the sheep we saw were. And I think they were probably uphill a little further. And we looked right and saw them going up over the top, big guy right in the front. So we didn't spook them too bad. They didn't see us. I'm, I'm, kind of optimistic that maybe they'll come back over the ridge tonight or tomorrow morning we might wake up to some some sheep again um, we didn't really blow those other two I think they kind of got a hint that something was there on, uh, on our way out but I think we'll see sheep tomorrow morning so that was a bonus way closer in than I thought we'd be so if we still head back I'm uh, pretty confident we'll still find sheep back there too so we're gonna head back down to camp probably glass for a minute here and see if we see any bears or wolves and then uh, go back down to camp, relax for the night, watch the hills, see if we can figure out a game plan for tomorrow. That'd, that'd be it. Uh, we're back down off the mountain. Uh, a little bit down for a minute, but definitely realized that I think we did the right thing um, made a perfect stock wrong sheep so we're gonna glass tonight they actually popped back over the ridge line so that picked my spirits back up we didn't blow them out bad they're sitting up there on the ridge line kind of deciding if things are safe or not we're back down under cover and sit here and glass them tonight and uh, tomorrow morning I think we're gonna take our time Maybe glass them all day, maybe not even make a stock tomorrow, get them nice and figured out and get that mountain dialed and we'll go after them as soon as we feel real good about it, I think. Um, that's our freebie. Next next one, uh, next one we'll, we'll play it right. So make some food, relax a bit, watch the sheep, see what they do, get a pattern on them. I think that's about all we can do. So we're feeling down, feeling good. We'll be back. It's been a great day. You know, it's day one. If we got a ram down now, it wouldn't be as, wouldn't be near as much of a story. So, uh, you know, I'm sure once we have a few torturous moments, be pretty close to getting a ram. So, that's it.